Okay everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to add an upper layer to this self-driving car. Now, I was planning to actually run it like this. And although there is not a big issue, I still thought that if I added a spacer like this, which would lift it up, and you can see that actually this suggestion was given by one of the viewers as well that if you add a lifter in between this uh, whole thing will go up so i i tried to do that and i printed this 3d printed part and when i added this on it actually increased this is 5 mm so it increased the height by 5 mm even though it fit perfectly and everything was good everything lifted up 5 mm but it still didn't seem right so i went back to this as the front or this as the top so the next step would be how we can actually create another plate on top of this now i don't have uh, these spacers that we have here uh, the small ones i have the small ones but they are plastic and they cannot provide a lot of height so in order to create that lift what we will do is we will use these pipes that i have a lot of these they are actually from uh, these roll-up banners so if you have seen a roll-up banner this is where it comes from so these pipes are basically hollow and uh, i think they are about 15 mm so we are going to use this and we are going to place this on four different locations one two three and four and maybe in the middle as well or with five but how can we stick this here now to stick it, what I did was I went back and designed a 3D model and printed it out which will allow us to attach this to the plate. So as you can see here, it will insert over here. We can screw one, uh, we can add a bolt over here and then we have these two bolts that will place it like this. So, so far it looks good and the same thing we can do on the top and that should work as well so what we have to do now is we have to cut these uh, into size I'm going to use 50 mm so it will be something like this so we will have enough height for the second layer so let's go ahead and cut these out and then I will print some more of these and we will add these two together for the material for the upper plate I'm going to use MDF material which is basically wood and I will cut it to the same size as this and then maybe later on we will add some holes and we will paint it or maybe add some design to it so that it looks better and then on top of that we will add our Jetson Nano and the battery and whatnot so we will do that as well so let's get started so here is the 3d model that i have created of this self-driving car in fusion 360 and as you can see i have modeled a few parts this part actually the jetson nano is the official part that came um, i think it's on their forum or on their website uh, the nvidia's website the rest of the parts i have designed now the omni wheels the uh, the mechanum wheels they are not perfectly to the size uh, especially these uh, rubber parts but uh, the overall they are approximately to the same size so then uh, the edge bridge again it's roughly to the same size now all of these uh, things I have been modeling a little bit here and there just to see how everything will turn out and of course it will help us uh, in the upcoming projects as well. So there's a lot more electronics components that I will still add but uh, for now even the motors I have not added yet. I've just uh, taken the estimate of the height to make sure that everything fits now here you can see that uh, this is the design with the pipes so I have added the pipes and we can see that we have a curve of I think this was about 10 to 15 degrees in between something like that so based on that I have modeled these so if I just hide this you will see that it's modeled like this so that it can have a bolt and nuts uh, to secure the whole thing and here as well we have this and the ones at the bottom 
here you can see there's an empty space because there will be another one at the bottom like this so these are the ones at the bottom now uh, we will have eight of these four at the bottom and four at the top the ones at the top are curved as you can see and the ones at the bottom they are straight 90 degrees so this is uh, pretty much the design and i have added this spoiler as well now this does not have any meaning other than the design itself it, it's nothing aerodynamical it's just there to look nice that's it so uh yeah so i was also thinking to cover the wheels that will actually serve a purpose to secure it and maybe add a front part here that will uh, avoid hitting anything directly so maybe i'll add those later on so let's see how that will go so let's go on and print this out and i will cut and let's see how it turns out So I've been trying to attach these sport structures to the self-driving car and it doesn't seem to work well. So the problem is that it keeps breaking. So if you see it here, uh, we do not have a fillet at the corner here and that causes it to break very easily. So if I just demonstrate that, you can see, there you go. It breaks very easily. The thing is, uh, if I want to add a fillet here, it will add a bit of a curve and that will not place well and you might have a tilt um, a little bit of a wobble when you're attaching 
so i did actually print with a little bit of fillet and uh, uh, a bit of curve let me see if i can find that one as well uh yeah here we have that piece so you can see that we have a little bit of fillet here and uh, the thing is i i added this as well and the thing is it it adds this gap and i i realized that it's not a good design so you have a lot of bits and pieces and it does not work well so let's go back to the design board and we are going to add a um, different design that will be just a singular part without all these pipes and we will make it all 3d printed and we will try our best to make it as strong as possible so as you can see here i have added the new sport structures one at the front and one at the back and uh, nothing in the middle i think that should be enough and uh, you can see that we have the holes as well so these are the holes that will be on the side so if i just hide this not this we need to hide this yes so here you can see that we have these two holes over here and two holes at the back uh, at the bottom and then the same thing over here now um, the part itself is quite thick so i cannot have it completely solid so that's why you have these uh, holes and in between we have these ribs to uh, provide more supports to add more strength and of course we fill it uh, all the 90 degree angles so that they are stronger so that is the design i hope this will be stronger than before and it will be much easier to actually uh, assemble so even though it's plastic i think it will work out good so this is the overall design and of course we are going to attach this as well uh, i believe i'll add some spacers in between so that it lifts up because it's not touching the wooden plate and that should be good and we can add some holes here to um, screw this down but i don't want to add it now uh, i will do it by hand so yeah that is it so let's go ahead and try it out So here we have the robot now with the assembly done you can see that I have added the support structure here one is at the front and one is at the back so there we have it so you can see that it actually works well it's really uh, touching both the plates the complete way and if I just grab it from the top plates it still is very sturdy and there is no wobble and everything looks good so this turned out to be a good design at the end of the day and then we have the Jetson Nano I have attached that as well you can see I have added these spacers in between and these I just drilled a small hole and uh, screwed it down and it is quite sturdy I can literally lift the whole thing up with this so it is quite sturdy then we also added the spoiler you can see that we have the spoiler in place uh, here it cracked a little bit but then I glued it back and then screwed it again so again I can lift from this as well but not recommended it will break uh, if, if a lot of pressure is applied so again this is just for the design part it's it's uh, it's not doing anything for the aerodynamics so we're not going to go at high speeds anyway so this is the assembly of the robot i think it looks very well now the next step would be to actually connect our uh, jetson nano we have already uh, printed a lcd screen so this is the screen that we will be using if you have not seen this i have a complete video on this let me show you over here yeah so there is the screen so you can see that we are going to use this so i still have to attach the battery the battery is basically the power bank over here you can see 
this is the power bank that I will be using it's by anchor so this one is actually a little bit expensive uh, I think it was uh, maybe around 40 or 50 dollars something like that anyways so the good thing is I don't have to place it up top and the reason for that is that we have enough space over here so as you can see I can just slide this in and it disappears so all I have to do is I have to make an attachment maybe even cable ties will work properly I just need to attach the upper battery with this metal plate and the good thing is I have these uh, USB ports over here so I can put it like this and then the USB can go from here I could make a hole from here or I could just bring the wire from here and we can attach it to this point so this means that the connection will be very neat as all of the wires will come from here and attach over here or it will come here and attach over here then uh, the only thing that we might add uh, will be the cameras so the camera or the cameras I'm not sure maybe one or two then we can attach those again we can bring it down and uh, bring the wire from here somewhere or we can directly connect if it looks neat and uh, as for the lidar the lidar has to be higher so I don't know how we will do that maybe some design over here and then it pops out and we have the lidar because it should not see anything else or maybe we will just have the lidar looking at the 180 degrees in the front and nothing at the back um, let, let's see how that goes and uh, even for the wiring of the lidar we can bring it down and from bottom we can bring it back up and then we can attach it here so that everything looks very neat and clean so this is it for uh, this video i hope you have learned something new uh, i hope this will turn out to be a good project as uh, it's coming along very well and it's time we start with the programming of the jetson nano we are going to program it we are going to turn it on and we will see what examples it comes with and what are the things that we can add to it so this is it for today's video and uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one